G'day everyone, Aaron Delaport here, Operations Manager at Bowles WA and Bowles Link Coordinator. I will be taking everyone through another Bowles Link training video, this time on transfers. So important that your club has a club administrator so that someone can log in and have your club membership database up to date and also add any new members and perform any transfers. If your club hasn't already done that, please contact me, Aaron at bowlswa.com.au and we will definitely set you up. So I'm gonna be using Bowls Link Beta, which is the training system. Of course, the real system is bowlslink.com.au and I've got a club that I've set up called Wrong Bias Bowling Club, which has 11 members in the system. So we're gonna be looking to add a new member. Normally, if someone's a brand new bowler, never played before, you would click Add Member, and then you would start filling out their information. If they're coming from another club, however, you need to click Add existing member. So after you've clicked add member, that changes to add existing member. We will then select that. And we need to do a little search to find the person in the system. The first option is national ID number, or you can search by email address, last name, and date of birth. You need to have all three of those pieces of information, or mobile number last name and date of birth. Those last two, which require three bits of information, obviously need to be in the system and be correct. If not, you won't be able to find the person. So the national ID number is the easiest. You may not know it. If you don't, please send me an email and I can, um, either myself or one of the staff members will get back to you with the national ID number. In this case, I'm going to be searching for member 4191, which is a fictitious Trevor Taylor. So you will get their name, make sure that's correct, email address and mobile. If there happen to be more than one person with the same name, you may have a couple of results. Make sure you then click on the invite button just here to send an invite. What you'll now notice is that an application has been sent to the member, Trevor Taylor, their current primary club and the state representative. Once the application has been approved, Trevor will appear in your pending membership tab. So it only needs either the member or the primary club to tick this off, one of them. We understand some members don't have email, so it will need to be the primary club. The state representative has been set to auto, um, except once we start penance on October 26, we will have ours changed and uh, we will look at the transfers and decide whether we require further information from the member, such as a fee that might be payable for Metropolitan players. But just quickly going into my emails, we should see that an invitation has come through. So this is assuming that I'm the administrator for the other club that this person's come from. I would then need to approve the invitation. This then um, takes you back to Bowls Link. Hopefully you've saved your login details and it will take you straight in and it says the invitation has been accepted. So if we go back to the Wrong Bias Bowling Club and come into our pending members, we'll now see uh, Trevor Taylor is sitting there as a pending member. It's important to understand that the members always come in as pending. You go to your little action button down here, click on it and choose approve membership. You sure you want to approve? Okay. Trevor Taylor has now joined our list right down the bottom. What you'll also notice is that he has a red dot against his name. So he has not been assigned a membership category. You will also need to do this by clicking on their name 
going to details and assigning a membership category. Oops. So my uh, screen is making it a little difficult. And I'll click assign. What you'll also notice now is that Trevor is a member of two clubs because he was a current and active member at his previous club which was the Jack High Bowling Club. You'll also notice that um, I can get it to work on the iPad. It is in light blue so it's his primary club and Wrong Bias Bowling Club is just a secondary club. However, you have a little request transfer button up here in the membership details panel. So if we click that, it now asks for a transfer of primary club membership. So if he was playing at your club in pennants and club championships, you need to proceed to this step. If they were just joining as a social member, for example, and were still playing at their other club, you wouldn't need to do that. So that has again sent through another request. And again, the other club would need to tick off that request. Occasionally these don't come through the second time. However, if I quickly log in the Jack High Bowling Club, and go to my transfers, we can see that the request is sitting there as pending. So you may need to check some of your pending requests or um, if you've requested a transfer, maybe contact the other club and they should then approve the transfer. So if I switch back to my wrong bias club and we go to members and find Trevor again we we'll now see that wrong bias bowling club is in the light blue and Jack High bowling club is, is now his secondary club Jack High bowling club could um, leave him as a member until their financial year expires and then they could archive him when when that happens he would no longer be a member of, of Jack High Bowling Club okay so what I'll show you now is what happens if you transfer somebody who's an archive member of a club again the same process add member add existing member find their national ID number Again, you may need to request it from Bowls WA. Click on the search. And this time I'm bringing in Percy Potter. Clicking the invite. So an application has been sent to Percy Potter, their current primary club and their state representative. So again, it would still send the invite through back to my emails and just see that the invites come through you can see that this was the request before for Trevor as well and we can improve the invitation again it logs straight back in providing you've saved your login details on your device if not it would have ask me to log back in. When we go back to members, again Percy is sitting in pending. Go down to our actions, approve membership, okay. If we come back to our active members, come down and look for Percy. Again, there's no membership category assigned. The other way to assign a membership category is with a little box next to their name. Click on that. At the top of your screen you've got your blue bar so you can add to a category. We select from our 
box of categories. Just got to get my screen to. Working on an iPad is not always the best idea. However, I'll have to make him a social social member at the moment and assign the category. What you'll notice with a social member is that they don't actually have playing rights. However, if we go into Percy's details, you'll see that that's his primary club. Because he was archived at his at his old club. He was not technically a member. Once he comes into an, to another club, he becomes that club's primary member. So just be mindful of when you bring in members, check that they have a category. This is the other place where you can assign the category. So we'll remove that social membership one and select full. Again, my little keyboard screen is making it difficult for me. But on a bigger laptop or a bigger iPad, you'd be able to do that. So, good luck with that. Make sure you've got all your members in before your first pennant game. Please um, contact Bowls WA if you need the member IDs. Please try and contact the other clubs. Be mindful of membership transfer invitations from other clubs. Please try and do the right thing and tick them off. The member transfers do only sit in the system for seven days and then they will expire. So if you have a request and it's not actioned within the seven days, it will need to be completed again. However, hopefully we'll have most clubs using the system within the next week or so. Thanks for your time and good bowling.